Hey, Christopher. Yeah, boss, what's up? What do you think about making some of our articles open access? That's a good idea. Make the articles free to the public so that anybody can appreciate the latest scientific advancements. I like it. Of course, the author would have to pay some kind of publishing fee. Yeah, okay, that's reasonable. What, like a couple hundred bucks? Yeah, I was thinking maybe $11,000. What? Yeah, $11,000, and we put your article on our website for anybody to read. Why so much? Oh, you know, all the, the costs. What costs? Uh, reviewing the article? Yeah, we don't pay reviewers. We guilt them into it because it's good for science. Okay, uh, what about formatting? Your 12-year-old niece does that for us. Well, we gotta publish it. That costs money. It's a PDF on a website. Kaylee does it in like two seconds. Kaylee? Your niece. Oh, yeah. Besides, who's gonna be able to afford this? Oh, people will pay. Why? Because they have to. What do you mean? Researchers have to publish in order to keep their jobs or get promoted, and we're one of the most prestigious journals around. People will pay. So it's extortion. Here at Nature, we're doing crime. Oh, Christopher, don't be so dramatic. So let me get this straight. You want to charge researchers $11,000 to publish an open access article, thereby ensuring that only researchers with the most money get to publish an article, which defeats the purpose of having open access articles in the first place. Yeah, that's right. And this is guaranteed to be profitable because researchers' livelihoods are dependent on a predatory system that values publishing in high-impact journals. Hey, you got it. This, of course, is insane. It's academics, baby.